everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's topic is how to display data using ajax in data table so let's get started so to begin with i'm showing you documentation of data table so you can see a sample table here and if you will see javascript there is one ajax .txt file is called and uh, later you can see there is link for data tables html css is there for data table ajax data is given json format so i'm going to show you how to implement this in code so let me show you my view so i have just created this basic table with id clothing stock and status and i'm going to use this database that is category master table here you can see same category name stock and status is there as i have displayed in my table in view so to move further let me show you code so i have one home controller you can see home model is loaded in constructor then there is index function that is loading table view in model right now is just blank and in table view you can see i have one table with id clothing stock status and later i have just included some scripts for jquery and bootstrap so let's start with basic so firstly i'm going to include js so write script src equals to and paste the link that is present there now after this let's go and include css copy the link and paste it in our header write link href and paste in href now after that let's go and copy the js part and write script and paste it here now give id to table that is example after that hide the ajax part right now and now let's go and refresh the browser so you can clearly see our first step is done that our basic data table is working fine here so now it's showing blank as i have fetched no data so now let's go and move to second step that is fetch data from database and display it in our data table so now i'll be going to write one function in controller write public function get category and inside that write this and i have home model so fetch home model and give let's say function name get category list so now let's go and create the same function in our home model so write public function category list and inside that i'm going to select star so write this db select star and after that get it from category master table hold that in a query variable and return query result as i need all the rows and in controller hold that in a variable category so let me show you documentation in which you can clearly see in which format you have to send data it's json format and you can see there is a key for data which is holding your data so here let me write json data and inside that i'm passing a key for data and now i'm passing my category list after that echo json encode and pass this json data in this so for the last step let's go and hit the url from data table ajax so write php eco base url and write home slash get category so now save it and let's go and refresh in our browser so there is one warning coming so click ok so you can see there is three row it's creating but data it's not displaying so for that we need to define its column in script so now let's go and do that so write columns it's going to be an array and inside that write one object with data and pass first one is id second column i am having is category so write category name third one is stock so write category stock fourth one is status so now save it and let's go and refresh so you can clearly see here that we got our category from database and displayed in data table so that's all in this video so in my next video i will show you how to filter data let's say if you are having any external filter that you are applying and you want your data table to be reload according to that 
filter so i will be showing you that in next video so thank you so much for watching and please like share and subscribe to my channel